South African choral group Ladysmith Black Mambazo have just returned from a world tour after winning their fifth Grammy Award. But there's no rest for one of the country's favorite bands. They are performing a string of concerts in honor of Nelson Mandela, who would have been 100 years old next month. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. Their music is timeless and has survived for six decades. Their captivating melodies have earned Lady Smith Black Mombazo their fifth Grammy Award. It is the first Grammy that we won after my father retired in 2014. So we honored our father with the Grammy. And for us as the new generation, as, as, the, as the sons and the new guys in the group, this is the beginning for us. Our father took this uh, music this far. We have to take it another 58 years. Those five Grammys are for South African people because those are the ones who showed us love from the beginning. They supported us. They bought our music. The five-time Grammy Award winners have brought a global audience to the traditional Zulu style of singing known as Isikatamia. We really love this music. It reminds us of who we are. It gives us uh, the pride of being South Africans. To know the history of these guys, that they started in Ladysmith and that they started as an a cappella group just very informally, uh, knowing what they must have gone through is, is really incredible, knowing that they're world famous. I'm very happy to be here, especially their music does not go out of fashion. It's the music that you can still play in 60 years time and it will touch your heart. The group has just returned home from a world tour. When we perform in other countries like in America, the audience is different because you know, you find people who are very observant, they'll just sit down and look at you and clap at the end of the song. But here in South Africa, they just kick in and sing with you throughout the whole show, so it's such an, an amazing experience being back home. Now they're performing a string of concerts in honor of late statesman Nelson Mandela, ahead of his centenary birthday commemorations in July. Honoring Madiba is very important for us as the group because Madiba has been a, a very good friend of, of the group. Uh, from the first day we met him when we went to perform at his birthday, he told us, the group, that the music that we sing has been his, the great inspiration for him while he was in jail and encouraged us to keep up the good work that we were doing. Lady Smith Black Mambazo has wowed audiences on the global stage. Their next goal is to start an academy in South Africa to teach indigenous music. Julie Shara, CGTN, Pretoria, South Africa. In our to Tunisia, where many Chinese enterprises have been devoting time to cultivating ICT talent, a group of 10 students has completed a digital skills development program during two weeks of intensive training in China. The program is sponsored by Huawei and supported by both Tunisian authorities and the Chinese embassy. CGTN's Adnet Shawashi has more on the results of the initiative. The Tunisian Ministry of Communications, Technologies and Digital Economy and the Chinese electronics giant company Huawei signed the 2018 cooperation agreement Seeds for the Future, which aims to cultivate ICT talents in Tunisia. The Seeds for the Future program is one of the programs we are pro promoting Tunisia talent and also Tunisia uh, uh, students. Uh, this is uh, uh, the fourth year now. Past three years, we already fulfilled the three sessions. And we can see the feedback from the students was very good. Ten engineering students and engineers who received a two-week ICT intensive training in July in China shed light on their experience. The study trip to China was an extraordinary experience. We visited the Huawei Research Center and learned about the latest technological advances. Now in Tunisia, I'm putting into practice what I learned in China. The Chinese ambassador to Tunisia has welcomed the cooperation project. Wang Guembin said that Beijing will 